Ocean is the Orisha goddess of love, healing, fertility, and fresh water. Orisha deities belong to the Yoruba religion. Originating in Western Africa, Yoruba is one of the ten largest religions in the world, with about 100 million global practitioners. Ocean is both a creator and a healer. Followers call on Ocean for help with fertility and to cure ailments when medicine does and work. Ocean energy can heal and create life, but she can also take it away if she feels that we are ungrateful for what she has given. She represents everything that is lush, fertile, and juicy in our world. Several myths exist concerning Ocean and her significance as a Yoruba deity. In most Yoruba stories, Ocean is generally depicted as the protector, savior, or nurturer of humanity. Ocean has also been described as the maintainer of spiritual balance or mother of sweet things. One myth highlights Ocean as the central figure in the creation of human beings. The Yoruba people believe that the Orishas were sent by Olodumare, who is considered the supreme god, to populate the earth. Ocean, being one of the original 17 sent to earth, was the only female deity. The other gods, all male, failed at their attempts to revive and populate the earth. When they realized they were unable to complete the task given to them by Olodumare, they tried to persuade Ocean to help them. Ocean agreed and brought forth her sweet and powerful waters, bringing life back to earth and humanity and other species into existence. As that Yoruba myth suggests, humanity would not exist if Ocean, the goddess of life and fertility, had not acted. Other myths hold that Ocean is one of the wise of Shango, the god of thunder. She is commonly described as the favorite of all Orishas by Olodumare, because of her beauty and sensuality. In yet another Yoruba story, Ocean is depicted as the goddess who not only gives life but also takes it. When angered, Ocean may flood earth or destroy crops by withholding her waters, thereby causing massive droughts. In one myth, Ocean is incensed by her devotees and sends down rain, nearly flooding the world. Yet once she has been appeased, Ocean saves earth from destruction by calling back the waters. According to the Orisha legend, Olodumare, the god of all gods, set the female deity Ocean down to earth to create a world with a group of male deities. Ocean wore a gold dress and jewelry. She was dark, beautiful, and quite flirtatious. While they admired her beauty, the male gods didn't think that they needed Ocean help to create a world. Frustrated that she was and getting the reverence she deserved, Ocean left this boy club and went to the moon, where she lounged and admired herself in the mirror. Ocean didn't try to convince the male gods of her value or demand reassurance that she was worthy she just left. She knew they would and get far without her. Ocean departure caused the earth to dry up. Without water, there weren't any plants or animals. There was no life. The gods didn't know what was going on. They didn't connect their failed attempt of creation to the missing goddess. Confused by their lack of success, they went back and informed Olodumare that they COULD and create the world he had requested. The gods explained that the world was barren. Olodumare looked at them quizzically, noticing that Ocean was no longer with the group. He explained to them that Ocean her love, beauty, and energy was essential to create the world and life on it. The Chagrin gods apologized to Ocean and begged her to come back and provide her life-giving energy and love. She accepted their apology, but sternly told them not to treat her dismissively again. Upon her return, the world became fertile and beautiful. Ocean is especially important to women in West African cultures. Those who want children and who may suffer from infertility usually call on Ocean for assistance, and she is associated with the concepts of femininity and the power of women. More widely, she is sought after in times of drought or severe poverty. With the impact of the transatlantic slave trade and dispersion of Yoruba culture, Ocean is also an important figure outside Africa, where she is known by other names, such as Ox in Brazil and Ock in Cuba.